Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Shimano S-Fire Cycling Semi-Frameless Sunglasses. The Shimano S-Fire series not only includes their popular RC9 cycling shoes, but the lesser known cycling apparel lineup. In this review, we'll be looking at the S-Fire sunglasses, which are their top tier sunglass offerings and combine clear optics, professional level features. You can see packaging wise, very simple, just a cardboard box with Shimano branding. You can see the basic specs for the version we have here, and then some safety information on the bottom. We'll go ahead and take this out of the box and go over the specs. Retail price on this is $220, so definitely a premium price. This has the Ridescape lenses, which is what Shimano refers to as their lens technology. And then you also have a lot of cool features like a reversible nose pad, so you can actually pull it off and then switch sides, as well as a replaceable nose pad with an XL version included. This is an aerodynamically shaped pair of sunglasses, which means there's very minimal transitions between the lens and the frame, so you can see when it's open. It's very smooth and that optimizes airflow around the sunglasses. You also have a magnetic lens, which is probably the coolest feature. So rather than using tabs or making the lens non-removable, you can actually just pull this off and then you'll see there's magnets in the lens and the frame. So you just simply position it and then it just locks into place. So a really easy way to swap lenses without getting a bunch of fingerprints on it. You also have a radius non-slip temple. So you can see how they curve inward and they're highly flexible with this rubber coating on the TR90 frame. As far as what comes with it, you can see quite a lot. It's actually very packed in here. So we have the standard pair of sunglasses with the magnetically attached lens. We have a replaceable lens. So this is their clear version. It's not actually 100% clear. It's an 83% visible transmission. So great for low visibility conditions. You have a nice little sleeve that it sits in. So you can actually keep this in there and it has a little Velcro attachment that attaches to the zippered case. You have a little envelope on the inside as well with a XL version of the nose pad. So you can see it's just a little bit larger. You even get a fabric carrying case, which you can also use to clean the pair of sunglasses. So this is a nice lightweight way to travel with it and then use the zippered one if you need to travel somewhere further away. You have basic instruction manual that goes over the lens specifications as well as this little instruction on how to swap the nose pad. So you can see there's the large or small so you can just flip them. Now let's take a look at the weight of the sunglasses. So with the standard nose pad it comes in at 28 which is actually one gram less than the claimed 29 gram weight. The Shimano S-Fire sunglasses represent their top tier offerings and combine high-end materials and quality. These are part of the second generation S-Fire eyewear lineup and offer more aerodynamically optimized shape. You can see you have a straight rim for the upper profile with smooth temple arms and almost no transition between the lens and the frame. So you can see they've really smoothed that out to make them level and optimize the airflow going past this. So it really looks a lot like a Pock Propel or other higher end pair of sunglasses. The profile on here is pretty conservative as well. You can see you have nice rounded corners. It's not really overstyled, just a couple edges, flares out on the side, and pretty good curvature too, so it really wraps around your head. So great for cycling, where you really want that immersive experience. You can see the frame is also semi-concealed. On top, the lens actually extends over and overlaps with it, so it makes it look a lot thinner than it really is. When you look on the inside, you can see it's slightly thicker, and these are known as a semi-rimless or half-frame design. So there's no frame on the bottom, no bridge between the nose pad either. So this attaches directly to the lens. It's available in five different color variations. You have two matte ones. You have black and what they call extra white. Then you have the metallic orange, blue, and red. We have the red here, and it really is a beautiful finish. So it's a metallic finish, so it has a nice depth to it. Something you expect to see in a car, not on a pair of sunglasses. So highly recommend the metallic versions over the matte ones as they really stand out and look great in the sun. Branding here is limited to just S-Fire on the side and then Shimano's hidden on the inside. 
The temples are straight armed, so you can see just extend out, but they're very curved. So if you look from the top, they curve inward, but highly flexible. So nice and thin at the edge with this rubber coating. And that means it really conforms to a variety of faces and doesn't really slide away. So really nice design. And again, the paint finish just really looks very cool. The other nice feature about these sunglasses is the magnetically attached lens. So rather than using tabs or making them permanently attached, you actually have magnets. So if you look at these corners, that's where the magnets are. So if you pull this away, you can see the back of the lens has magnets and then the frame has the matching magnet here. So these will actually attract each other. So you just push it into the groove. So you line them both up, push down a little bit so they sit in the groove and then it's nice and secure so it doesn't really move. Really nice design and avoids the frustration of having to flex the tab and pull the lenses out, which can potentially break the lens or the frame. You can see the nose piece is actually attached directly to the lens, so you do have to remove that separately. The other cool feature about this is the reversible nose pads. So you can see they just slide out. Has a little hook and groove design, so this has a little hollow slot in there, and you just slide it in. What's cool about this is you can actually configure this in two ways. So you can read the letters on here, it's small and large. This right now is the large version. You can just flip this around. So if you just rotate it around, now you can do the small version. And the main difference here is the profile. So you can see when I have it in the large configuration, it's flatter on the outer edge. And then when I flip it, it's bulkier on the outer edge. So it accommodates different face sizes. They also have the XL version. So you can see this is thicker. We put these side by side. It's a bigger nose pad, so wider. So between these, you have four different options. So you can definitely find the one that works with your face. Now let's take a look at the S-Wire on the road. As you can see, the red color really pops. We're impressed with that metallic paint finish. Gives it a lot of depth, and it's not something we've seen with a lot of other pairs of sunglasses. Also, the sunglasses are quite comfortable. You have the flexible temple arms, adjustable nose pads, and the magnetic lens system actually works quite well. So even if you're adjusting the sunglasses on your face, they don't come off, so you really have to purposely pull them off the frame. Otherwise, the optics on this are really nice. The Ridescape lenses from Shimano are crisp and clear. There's no distortion, and they have a nice color balance that really brightens any potholes or imperfections on the road so you can ride a little more safe. You have a wide lens, so a big field of view. The only downside is you do see the corner of the magnetic attachments at the edge of your vision, but it's pretty minor and otherwise really nice pair of sunglasses. Now let's compare the S-Fire with other sunglasses on the market. Half rim style is pretty popular in the cycling market as having the bottom cutouts open gives you better visibility so when you're riding you don't see the edge. Here we have the Roca Matador Air. So a very unique pair of sunglasses. The temple arms are actually mounted on the bottom rather than the traditional top location. So it's a little bit of a weird design, but it definitely makes them stand out. And you have that tall shield frame design with the rounded lens that really hugs your face. So similar in the other design elements, but just a little bit more flashy. And you also have that mirrored lens, which looks really cool rather than the see-through lens here. You can also get full rimless style sunglasses like the Tifosu Rail we have here. So there's actually really no frame here. It's just the temple arms attached to the lens, and that gives you really nice visibility, so nothing blocking your vision. The Tifosu is also really cheap, so sub $100 versus the $220 on the Shimano. And you can see, again, mirrored lens, which looks really cool, and just a little bit more styling on the sides. The S-Fire looks a little bit more classy than the other sunglasses with the straight design and the metallic finish, but you can see otherwise pretty similar. The Tifosi is also a little bit more aggressive with these sharp corners, while the Shimano has these more smooth design. And if you're looking for something a little bit more extreme, we have the Oakley Kato here. So the nose pad is actually integrated into lens, so it kind of looks like a beak. It is full frameless design, non-replaceable lens, as the whole pair of sunglasses is the lens itself. And you can see definitely a pretty crazy look, makes you stand out. It has a nice mirrored finish with the adjustable rake 
on the temple arms, which is a kind of cool feature, but it can be definitely more extreme and expensive. There's also a lot of retro options like the Volley Chrono Shield. So these are actually a pair of ski goggles they converted back to cycling sunglasses. So really big full frame design and nice visibility because it's so large. We also recently reviewed the Smith XC. So these actually have a pop-up lens, so a really nice retro touch. So you can actually pop these open when you're going up a big hill or if you need extra visibility and then pop them back down. Not as, best, not as uh, well suited for cycling. As you can see, it's flatter, so more of a lifestyle style sunglasses where it's less immersive as it doesn't really wrap around your face. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the S-Fire sunglasses. What we like about them is you have a magnetic lens system, so it's really easy to swap the lens. You don't get fingerprints all over it. You also have an impressive metallic paint finish that really shines in the sun and matches the S-Fire shoes. Also, you have crisp and clear optics from their Ridescape lens, so they're really fun to ride with and you don't have any issues with vision. The main cons for the sunglasses is the fact that they are quite expensive at $220 and has a pretty limited lens selection. Even though they're quite affordable at $60 per replacement lens, you don't have photochromic or higher filter categories currently available. Taking everything into account would give the S-Fire sunglasses a 9.0 out of 10. It's a really beautiful pair of sunglasses that match the S-Fire shoes really well. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclists. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.